Hey everyone, uh, this is episode uh, 157, Low Hanging Fruit with Andy and John. Uh, what did we talk about? We talked about, Jesus, I don't remember, uh, Santa unions, mushrooms, fungus particularly, canned cheeseburgers, uh, surviving like a fallout, uh, working from home, that was definitely this episode, uh, part A anyway. I don't remember what the rest of it was about. <laughs> Seriously. Um, thanks, everyone, that's still listening. I'm going to try and do another wrap-up before the end of the year or maybe just after New Year's. But, um, yeah, I've got a lot of crap to get through. Otherwise, yeah, keep liking, sharing, following, subscribing. You know, big thank you. Made mention it. Um, yeah, all your coffees basically bought us a new computer, which was imperative to recording. But thanks again, and um, enjoy. <laughs> Ahead. So this train will terminate at the next station. Fake news, fake news. Oh, he's so sick. Hey, 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 Are you a Muslim? He should have been slapped as a child. He's a spoiled, spoiled little Greek brat who's probably been treated like. Did break everything? Because he just don't shave it or anything. No, I can't bother. You know what I'm about to do? You say, say, see the toes. But seriously, why the headband? I just told you, because look! You see this shit? It's right here! So why don't you just tie your hair back? I didn't, I couldn't find a hair tie. I usually keep this on my desk in case I need to put my hair up. Okay, hang on, I had long hair back in the day. I don't think I ever wore a headband like that. That's because it's not mine. I don't own hairbands. It's my missus. It's actually too warm, because it's cotton. I was going to say, it looks too thick for a day like today. Yeah, it is. And you're... Doesn't cotton breathe, though? You're just thinking of Seinfeld. No, but it's space to breathe. See, cotton is a natural fiber. Yeah. What's that other one that's, uh, it's that other... Polyester? No, it's a natural one. And Bamboo. It's, 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 it's gone by the episode. It's sheer. Bamboo? No, no. Oh, which one is it? Lycra? No. It's like cotton. You like, you get a lot of uh, shirts made out of it and suits. Sherpa? No. Sherpa is not a... You know Brooklyn? You, you watch 9-9, yeah? Yeah. You know when uh, Boyle goes to get married in the f- yeah, first yeah, yeah, season yeah, 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 yeah. and he wears the suit yeah, and you can see his thong through it? Mm-hmm. That's that material there, but I can't remember what it's called. Are you talking about those like Explorer outfits? No, it's just like a cotton. It's not cotton, but it looks like cotton. It's... Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm disgusted with this. You I used are. to love these in Japan. And after having, maybe maybe it's because I'm having my own, you know, the, you, know, the, um, you want to understand? Same you, Ali coffee? I don't do, know. Do you want to understand? What? You just made a whole sort of showy thing about putting that can down on the table. Mm. There's a coaster literally two like centimeters. Well, I want to use the bottle for it. Because that's condensating more. <laughs> You're doing it to annoy me. What? No. <laughs> I know you are. You're actually doing it to a No, it's because the bottle's condensating more. Right. i got to say, you've been like MIA bad the last couple of weeks. I know. It's been crazy. Uh, it's, it's been busier than I thought. And I, and I thought I was going to have a holiday break. And that just so, sort of got flipped on its head. I don't know why. It's- do, you know what I, do you know what I thought of like the other day? I actually started laughing out loud. I pictured you in like a Santa suit, like sitting at like a, a mall. I watched Bad Santa mm-hmm. on um, Boxing Day, I think. It was a box- yeah, it was Boxing Day. And for some reason, I thought of you sitting at the mall. No, nah, it's impossible. No, but I, I don't know if you would crack the shits. About what? About like sitting there with the kids, like sitting on your lap every oh, two seconds. Sure. I don't yeah. know why. I, I, everyone I could think of, I just pictured you. Yeah, I wouldn't And do with well. like a cheap beard <laughs> sitting under your beard. So you have the, the dark one on top. Yeah. <laughs> like a regrowth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your face is still pretty youthful. So it's like this kid's face with a beard and then the white beard under What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a choo-choo train? What the hell is a choo-choo train? <laughs> and it's just, and I picture you not staying in character ever. Mm. Like literally, kid comes. What do you want? Oh, uh, hi, hi, hi! 
Oh, like in confusing like the holidays. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or well, someone's mum walks past, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> Did you want to get a family photo in? Did come sit come sit on my lap. Come Did the mother want to sit on the lap? <laughs> Santa said, yeah, get, get away. Your mum your mom first. How do they screen those Santas? Because every time you see a movie or a cartoon, they come from like a union and there's like a bunch of them. What is it like in real life? I just, mm-hmm. It is similar to like clowns. You don't just randomly find a clown, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't just walk around and be like, hey, come I here. Think, I, to be honest, I, I think got a it's job just, for you, mate. I think it's just a staff member from the, like, if it's a shopping center. I think in the mood, like, I don't know. In no, the mood, but surely they've got to have specific Santa. So what do you do for the rest of the I year? I don't think you can just let anyone have their kids sit on someone's lap. You'd need one of those child safety. You, you can work with children. Children, whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. But every, yeah, of course. Like, so I can still see your tootsies, bud. You just <laughs> <laughs> can you stop? Stop what? <laughs> this is not a pissing pond for you, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> he comes here. Do you yeah. know what? Do you, okay, do you know what he brought before? Right. Thank you for bringing me this. You're welcome. Sushi. He's I, still going to complain about I it. I said thank. I didn't complain. Did I complain? What did you get? Sushi. No, I mean, like, what did you get? No, but do you know what he brought? He goes, also, he goes, this is what he said. He goes, this has been pissing me off for ages. Like, it gripes me every time I come here and I keep forgetting. What? Put out napkins, like a hundred pack of napkins. I go, that's a good idea. I had some here. They ran out. Mm. Nice. Thank you. Put them aside. Thank you. Yes. And then the next one was plates. I go, what's a plate for? Because, you know, in case the napkins aren't enough. I go, John, no one eats here. But yeah, I was going to say. But- <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, no. I go, no, I'll say it again. You're the only one who ever eats in here, ever. Well, Only it's, one. It's, it's, you know, being prepared just in case you're here with a client I, I or someone. I know this is. Because I said roast, p- p- pork roast, now you're like, oh, I'll bring the plates, I'll bring some forks yeah, and knives. Yeah. and Yeah, but... You're well, the, I did look at the, the forks you, and the knives. It's you too guys, expensive. You're the only people that come here regularly and regularly enough where... He's just pissing me off. Even just sitting there like that. He's sitting back in the chair. Don't relax. <laughs> Don't relax. <laughs> His sphincter muscles just <laughs> it slowly. It's the most you. relaxed it's been for a long time. <laughs> he doesn't even need to fart. Gas just yeah. seeps <laughs> out. <laughs> that's why it's like That's why it's just a, just that little bit warm in here. <laughs> A little bit under the collar. I don't know why I gave you the Canadian club. Yeah, I don't know. Because that's really irritating me now. It's going to get worse you look as like, it gets lower. Yeah, I was going to say, you look like you're out of King of the Hill or something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway, yeah. surely the Santas are unionized. Surely, like, there's a, I don't know. a company you call. It's too hot for this. For what? This. <clears throat> oh, the headband. Yeah. I thought you were done. <laughs> like you take it oh, off. We'll get there. We'll see. I love it. You're the, you got the fan directly behind you it's, and the aircon. It's so hot in here. What do you want from me? I need to take my underwear off. Mate, my you're, off. you're not taking nothing. Do not. Do not <laughs> sit back down. No, I'll leave another five. Fuck off. Five. I, I, no. I got, I got something to comment about my underwear anyway. So Why does it always come back to your underwear? Well, it's important. I, I, I Something frustrated me. I want to talk about it. Dude, can you just tape that up? Like what happened? I thought this was taped. Who's been touching my <laughs> shit again? <laughs> I love it's his shit. Mm. I pay for it. I set it up. It's I, mine. I, mine. I, <laughs> who's been touching my shit? The coffee he's drinking isn't his. Headphones. Do you want this? No. Do you want that? No. No. I'll have a fresh one later. <laughs> I, I love it. you thought about it for half a second. I, think I have to leave it. What, what are you doing? That wasn't me, was it? I got it on silent. I don't know. No, nah, because I know, like, yeah, if you want to work with kids, you've got to do that working with children check thingy. Yeah. So you surely- do a police check. Like any, like any job now, if you're going to work with – well, any job now, you've got to apply for a police check, regardless. Of that was so is. obnoxious. Yeah, it was. Oh. <laughs> you heard this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm actually going to be forced to leave that in the edit now, just so we can hear it. And these police <laughs> checks last for about two or three years, so you have to renew it every couple of years anyway, so – Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If, I, I would assume it would just be someone in the centre, because – like I told you, at the centre of where I'm working, the people that are taking the photos, I'm almost certain it's all people that work there. Okay, here's a question. If you had to hire a Santa, yeah. would you hire the Santa with the full white beard or just the fake beard on, on top of his own beard, of his own face? Ooh. Which one do you reckon looks creepier? The full. As in, he's like actually a real, got a white beard. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's something... <laughs> Something a bit off with that. Something sketchy about a full <laughs> so white. That's beard. a great beard. Where did you buy that from? No, no, this is this is my beard. This is me all year. 
No. (laughs) (laughs) Careful on the merchandise. There's there's a great um, there's a great episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where it's like Christmas time. And they go to the... Uh, did I show you guys? Did I show you that? No. You've been in MIA for, since for, since the last episode. So, he has, hasn't he? Yeah. What happened? No. Small man. No, I'm just... Maybe I'm he's like Santa. Santa. I'm, trying, I'm trying to... Santa. He's, Santa. he's actually Santa. I've got two trips planned. To one see? The, North Pole? One South on the Pole? 7th. Yeah. And then one in Feb. And I'm just trying to make sure that I've, you know... This isn't going to go back to your underwear, is it? Oh, you yeah, know, I will come Where back to it. Where are you going? Oh. Uh, one of them is Mount Martha, so just pretty close. Hmm. Um, hmm. Who's fine? I'm on that? silent. I am on silent. That's I've got nothing. I'm on silent. I've got something, but I'm on silent. <laughs> it's not beeping. It's off. It's not beeping. <laughs> Mount Martha. Okay, Mount Martha. So I'm going there for a week just to just sort of get away. And the other one is I'm driving up to Sydney in Feb. Why are you driving for a wedding? Oh, I like the road trip. Just fly. No, I like the road trip because I'm taking my dog with me as well. Put him in a crate. Nah, she's she's not going to do well. I like the drive. So who's I looking after the dog? The way. Hmm? Who's looking after the dog? I'm taking her with me. Oh, you bring her. Are you taking her to the wedding? No. So what? what's the difference? Well, well, you're, cause cramming, I'm... you're cramming the dog into a in a car. Yeah. For ten hours with your musk hmm. and your uh, odors. Yeah. Then you're going to get to the to Sydney. You're going to leave her in a hotel room for for a night, a strange hotel room. Yeah, for a night. You're going to come back and then force her to endure your musk and your odors. Yeah, and then you're going to throw her back in the car. No, I'm staying there for like that a week. That sounds like a horrible, a horrible trip for a dog. <clears throat> no, I'm staying there for a week. I'm going to take her to the farms, and we've got some like um. I don't know farms in Sydney. No, we're going out to some farms, and we're doing like some mushroom farms and different heirloom tomato farms and all this stuff. Then I haven't planned. <laughs> I was going to say Sounds very artisanal Yeah, what are you doing going to heir- heirloom tomato farms? <laughs> it's planned, but not by me so. <laughs> it's, uh, It'll be a great time I actually did I Well, jumped- if you get some good uh, sales on those tomatoes <laughs> yeah, I'll you bring you back some <laughs> Over a hundred different types, apparently That's all right. Dude, I jumped in my car today And I haven't driven it since uh, What day is it today? Today's the 27th It would have been the 24th Possibly. So three days. You ever jumped in your own car and felt like someone else had been driving it? No. Nobody else drives my car. Well, I was going to say not unless my missus has been driving. I don't know. I got in and it's like I felt someone else's musk in it. Like totally different. Like it's someone else's car. Like like I got into the wrong car. You haven't been in it for a while? Three days. Where, where are you? Are you here? <laughs> Why? It's the second time someone said something and he's like, how long ago? I didn't hear when you said how long you hadn't been there. <laughs> one to me, one to you. He's going to do it to himself soon. I'm trying to develop my... Uh, Back in 1776. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to develop what, what my interviewing date? skills. <laughs> you're developing your... Inter- yeah. While you're leaning back yeah. with a Canadian club in one hand. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Howard Stern or anyone does that, man. I'm pretty sure they... Sure they do. Take a sip. <laughs> You've got them way too comfortable. I've ah, I, I want to hear, I wanna hear the, ah. I've, I've allowed it. I blame myself. No, I did you, too. You've got them way too comfortable, man. I can't do it. Nevertheless. You know, we should have had like an ice box in the middle, and that way we, the drinks can always stay cool. Yes, I'll look into that. Any more time. mods that you'd like to incorporate? Because I feel like these are There's a couple, in- but we'll talk it over at a time. <laughs> We're putting together. Can we hire someone to come in and replace the ice for us? As it gets, you know. I already pay what I pay in rent and maintenance. Now you want me to pay for someone to come here to replace? Re- oh, a little bit more, and we can have some so luxuries for in the here. month for the for the one three hour session you do every six weeks. I need to have someone here to replenish the ice. Well, it's just to help with the heat. What Otherwise, the next person who's coming in here is going to have a This is as hot sweat. as it's going to get, and you're going to be subdued to it for like two hours. Are you serious? Oh, fuck me. Seriously? Whatever, man. I'm going to hydrate. Care. Anyway, what is this about your jocks? Mm. You have to tell us. Well, I thought you didn't want to talk about nah, that. Nah, let's just get it over and done with. Oh, he's, even... he's already surrendered. <laughs> yeah, he's I can't given be up. Bothered. Well, I'm not. I feel almost yet. like that. Just get it over and done with so we can get out no, of no, here. No, no, no. We're, 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 we're <laughs> three hours later, <laughs> and that's how I fit into them. <laughs> we're at one. <laughs> we're at 13 minutes. All right, good. <laughs> just get this story out of the way. No, no. I'll Thanks do it very much. When I'm hot. <laughs>
Subscribe, like, share, follow. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Buy John a beer. I think this might be. I've got a couple beers left in that fridge. We're good. Go. This is the no, first I'm not hot enough yet. I want to be hot enough where I need to take them off so You're I can not taking anything. naturally no, 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 fall no, 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 no. I want to organically fall into this no. conversation. No, Andrew. So the one with You're the, not taking so anything the off. the Santa with the real beard I thought we were still talking about me. the tomato farm. Oh, we can talk about the tomato oh, farm. Okay. All right. So, so apparently they have a whole bunch of different ones. And, you know, we all know that there's green, yellow, and red. Tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're saying, like, they've got black and purple. Like, I've heard of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. the- what the hell are black tomatoes? I don't know. It's just the way they come out. Well, Apparently, like. you stress them in the sun mm. to certain levels, and they come out like purple broccoli and cauliflower and stuff. You stress it in the sun, and they turn purple naturally. Mm. You don't dye them or anything. Yeah. But the sun apparently puts them through stress, and then they actually turn, like the chemical reaction turns them purple. Supposedly, they're meant to have way more nutrients, way better for you. Aren't they normally a little bit sweeter? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. P- purple cauliflower, strangely, is a little bit sweet. It's you got your carrots good. as well. Have you had- yeah, yeah, carrots are good. The Man, carrots are good. Have you had the veggie? It's at it's at um Woolies and Coles. It looks like a sweet potato. It's like a purpley sort of colour. It looks like a sweet potato, but when you open it up, the texture's a bit different. Mm-hmm. And when you eat it, it tastes like ca- uh, chestnuts. No, I don't think I've had that. I bought it by accident once. Like it looks years like a ago. sweet potato. It looks like a yam, like a sweet potato, mm-hmm. and it tastes like chestnuts. Because mm-hmm. remember I was like I I bought it by accident. I made dinner for someone. It's a big one. Yeah. And we're sitting there eating it. And they've gone, this tastes, this isn't a sweet potato. It tastes different. And then after about five minutes, it's like chestnuts. Like, yeah, totally different. So it's like earthy. Yeah. Hmm. And it's got that kind of texture as well. It's like chewy. No, I don't know. I thought you'd have been all over it. I can't think of anything. I usually like to experiment with new shit at Woolies. Hang on a second. Let me just get this straight as well. You're going to Sydney. Yeah. When's the wedding when you get there? Like at the end of the week or the start of the week? Or what? Uh, so I get there on like Thursday. I think the wedding's on Sunday. I leave on Tuesday. Okay. You're going to go to these heirloom tomato farms and all the other mm. shit. And I'm assuming you're going to load up on stuff, right? No, nah, probably not. So what are you going for? Just to get out. Who does things? It's just a trip. Okay. It's just a trip, dude. <laughs> Again, you got to keep. You get there's a part here you're missing, which is. I, I, I'd go there and leave straight away, <laughs> right? I'd drive there in the suit, rock up to the wedding, g'day, couple of beers, leave, <laughs> you picture, drive home. <laughs> I'm picturing that drive where you're trying to stay clean, but you're sweating, you're getting crumbs everywhere, <laughs> the dog hair's gone everywhere. <laughs> you get the lint roller when you yeah, get it. <laughs> he expects to, in his mind, he expected to get there fresh and jump out, jump back in the car. <laughs> right, bye. And then drive 10 hours back. Reality, you get there, you got like tomato stains on your shirt. <laughs> oh, the pants would be ripped, you know. I'd, I'd exactly. stop to take a piss, get back yeah. in. And push, nah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, man. You're fucked. <laughs> It's because I know you. I know that's what you would actually do. Okay, so these are heirloom tomato farms are on the outskirts. Yeah, we're doing like mushroom farms, which I love mushrooms anyway, so I'm happy to do that. But the tomato- Is it farm- like a specific type of mushroom or- Oh, like just unique, like the more unique, like lion's mane and quarter, what are they called? Cordyceps? I don't know mm. what any of those things are. There's a mushroom called lion's mane. Mm. Mm. Who the fuck? Looks like a lion's mane. I'm Googling this. It's meant, it, a lot of people use it um, as a pet, like a supplement- because apparently it helps your memory uh, improve, which I did try for a while, and surprisingly, you feel pretty poppy. Lion's mane mushroom. Poppy, eh? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah. That doesn't look like a lion's mane. Well- it Looks like a nutsack. You no, know, it's, it's the texture of it. <laughs> like, it looks fluffy. Am I wrong? Well, it depends if your nutsack- Am I wrong? Is, is it covered in hair like that? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> it's just, it's it looks like a dog's nutsack. Yeah, it's just that's something- Yeah, I'm, that's probably- That's out of Middle it. Earth, man. <laughs> 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 what was the other one? Uh, cord- cordyceps. How do you spell that? I'll just take a guess. Cordyceps. Or probably I just saw the nine health benefits, but I didn't see it. Cordyceps. After it, it just said like nine health. Nine health? Yeah, just like something out of a uh, game. Just like nine health. These? Yeah. <clears throat> these are mushrooms? Mm-hmm. Can you Again, buy these at Woolies or? No, 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 no. These are specialty mushrooms. So usually they grow in like. Out, I always thought fungus was a bad thing. No. Don't no. we use creams Not to get rid of fungus? There's different types of fungus. Yeah. Fungi. We, we are fungus. Fungi. No, but like, so for these, right, these are, well, people love eating them. They love taking it as a supplement. You know, you grind them up into powders and shit. But this, it's, 
people herald it for its properties, like health properties, right? What I found out uh, was that this shit infects like insects, like ants and stuff. And then they start growing mushrooms on the bodies of those insects. And then those pop at some point and they spread the spores. That's what mushrooms always do, right? They spread mm. their spores somehow. And it infects all the other insects around them, which then grow mushrooms and pop. It just keeps popping. And it just keeps... It's, it's crazy. Dude, they make like horror movies that start like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So why yeah. should we be eating these? Because it's really good for you, apparently. Hang on, wait a second. You just explained an elaborate situation straight out of like a... Literally Friday the 13th sort of thing, yeah? yeah? Or like starring, what's her name? This um, is a human centipede. It's a corny oh. weaver sort of thing. Mm. These, these mushrooms mm. attach themselves to hosts, grow, mm-hmm. expand, mm-hmm. kill the host when they explode, yeah. thus ex- ex- uh, uh, spreading their seed as well. Yeah. Sounds like a baby. But that's what all mushrooms And you think we should be eating these. The, what do they say? Mushroom- How does that... Look, that makes no sense. Mushrooms are like life and death. Everything starts with a mushroom. Everything ends with a mushroom. But the mushroom is always there. Inevitable. Yeah, it is. It inevitable. Is. The mushroom is inevitable. Say, say that again. <laughs> inevitable. There was this. There was this weird. There was this weird. Um, so, like Neil deGrasse Tyson said it. He's like, we are more closely related to the mushroom. So that when people say, "Oh, you know, it's got like a meaty texture to it," we're more closely related to a mushroom than a lot of other things out there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why we should be eating this shit, though. It's just... It's like, this. The, the fine there's health line, benefits to There's it. a fine line between, like, eating a poisonous mushroom and dying and eating a truffle and and, and splurging a million dollars. But how it. do we... Like, at a certain point, someone realised a truffle was safe to eat and somebody... At mm-hmm. a certain point, someone realised you couldn't eat the, the red ones or whatever you... The, yeah. The, the poisonous ones. The red ones with the white dots. That's that's universal. The I universal, don't know if it's a real one or whatever. Yeah. But so at a certain point, someone realised... Jeff over there died after he ate that mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> and Jeff's brother, Frank, died as well from the same mushroom. He finished his meal. He came in, found <laughs> Jeff dead just over. with a plate of, like, mushroom soup. It's like, ah, oh, poor bastard. <laughs> must have, must have had a heart attack. <laughs> he sat down and ate the soup, killed over as well. So at a certain point, like, if it's made, like, in a probably a sterile environment, mm. and then... Um, well, not all mushrooms are poisonous, Well, clearly. that's right, yeah. Some you, are and some aren't. The you, spreading of the spores not gets all me a little bit. Are poisonous. Makes me think a little bit of uh, the alien. Last of Us. But I'm have thinking you seen, of have alien. you seen the puffball? Have you no, seen the puffball? Ch- check out the puffball mushroom. That thing's weird. It's literally like this butthole, mm. and at some point it shoots like it shoots out, kills itself. Basically, is this what you were looking up since the last time? No, I spoke? just no. I love mushrooms. I just love this thing. Yeah, there was a Tintin uh, graphic novel that looked like that. It was called The Shooting Star. Here, look. Tintin shooting star. Legitimate. Yeah. It's a big old hunk of duty. Where is it? Images. Hang on. You seen Joe Dirt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you <laughs> go, dude. There you, you go. Know, that's a comet. I'm sorry, buddy. It's a big old hunk of duty. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the peanut right there. <laughs> People love this shit. What the hell is this? Yeah, look at see see that one that's spraying out the spores? That. No, no, the one next to it? There. Yeah, that. So that thing explodes, shoots out. Like millions of spores kills itself and then it spreads its. How big is, is, it, is it edible? The the white one is mm. the one that's puffing is not. It's like you poke, you touch it, and it just evaporates. What's mm. it taste like? Like earthy? They say it tastes like a it tastes like chicken, just like a chi- <laughs> yeah, not like a chicken, <laughs> like a <laughs> huh, like a chunky piece of meat. What meat? Though? I don't know. I mean, it's its own taste. It tastes like a mushroom. <laughs> I've never had one, but I'd love to try. Where do you buy those things? <clears throat> these ones, I don't know. They've become more popular more recently, I guess. Amongst who, which circles, may I ask? I don't. I want to know who walks through a forest <laughs> and finds these things covered in shit and termites on the ground and thinks, yeah, yeah, we should clean this and eat it. You're not starting to shop, shop at these <laughs> health food shops that give, like, medical advice to you. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you said that. But there's, like, mushroom you farms. You said that in, like, an episode... Like a year ago, it's on the health food aisle. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because like you go to the, not that you go he into, hasn't got but these two cheeseburgers on his stomach. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've, been, I've been trying to eat moderately, eat cleaner. <laughs> I'd like it to be known, like it to be made clear. I haven't had a cheeseburger in about four months now. That is impressive. It is. <laughs> what about donuts? He rocked Four up months. with mince tarts. Oh, for mince real? tarts, that's it. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> it's different. It's got fruit. It's got, it's got fruit. fruit. The sugar, sugar levels are probably the same. 
It's for the festive season. I'll be honest. It's a festive season. <laughs> I'll be honest. The holidays and all this sort of shit, they make me like just start forgetting. Yeah, throw us one, eh? All form of sensibility. Anything that doesn't have nutritional information on it <laughs> is probably a red flag. And it's coming from a bakery. It's all bread. <laughs> it's a, it's a, dude, there's only one sticker on it. It's been screwed off. Not fit for human consumption. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do not feed to animals. Oh, you can't, you can't <laughs> feed those to animals. But use, <laughs> use his feed for livestock. He's John putting it out of his fridge. <laughs> There's no mm. nutritional value. <laughs> no. <I'm good>. <laughs> I will put them back for you, though. I'll have one. Fuck it. I want to die. <laughs> I've had a hard year. Like, fuck it. <laughs> I, deserve, I deserve this death. I'll call on you a little bit later to get me another one. Ah. <laughs> Oh, my back's already drenched. Have another mince pie. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Do you reckon mm. they discovered, like, when they discovered that, you know, the red mushrooms were bad, the green mushrooms were fine? Or How many times do you think it took them to realise that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Do you reckon they figured it out in, like, the modern world? Or do you reckon it was, wow. like, a slow, gradual no, decline? I, I think, so apparently... This, I actually saw this ages ago on Rogan's podcast. Oh, here we go. But he was saying that, or well, they were saying that our ancestors apparently found a lot of these mushrooms and figured out all this shit. Some people would get sick. Until some the people... tribe dropped down to 10 people. Yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> yeah. And then they figured out, like, hey, we can sustain ourselves on these. But even before that, monkeys apparently used to try and, you know, test the waters with mushrooms and see how far they can get with them. Some got sick, some didn't. But it's, you know, obviously we have science now and- we know how. No, to- no, hang on. Yeah, but it's not like you have one of those. Um, what are those things that mix the chemicals and it spins? Yeah, the What's uh, it centrifuge. Yeah, it's not like you got a centrifuge while you're out picking mushrooms. No, but you take samples. You take you cut a sample, put it in your little little pouch that you carry around. But it's generational because like, then start cloning them. Like my parents will go mushroom picking mm. when it's yeah, the same. season. Yeah, and they just know. Yeah, how did they know? Their parents would have told them. How did their parents know? Generation, their parents, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But that's one type of mushroom. Yeah. And Is it an orange one? I don't, yeah. <sighs> you track it back and probably your ancestors and my ancestors are all related to Jeff. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Genghis Khan. Yeah. Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You people are insane. <laughs> Those orange mushrooms, I don't know where they figured that out, who told them, but that something's wrong there because you shouldn't be able to like touch something and it stains everything you touch. You can't touch them with like your bare hands. It, it will stain Well, the forever. thing is as well, like I don't know about like where your family come from, but where mine come from, it was like complete poverty. Mm, yeah. And yeah. that's what they had, like you were saying, that's what they had to basically, or you were saying it just now, mm. they figured out they could like um, live on it. Yeah. And that's what they did. Okay. Yeah. Share Here's the, a question. The goat. Here's a question, mm. right? We're all pretty sustainably mind, sustainable minded people, right? Mm. So, in like, we know how to we know how to cook for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We know how to forage through our family lineage. Yeah, we know something about cultivation, right? I, I I'll admit, out of this group, I know the least because I've never had a garden of my own except when I was growing up. Yeah, mm-hmm. never had like other than get yelled at to carry fertilizer and dig. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've got no idea. If shit at the fan, Armageddon lands, the apocalypse happens, you know, everything goes to zero, where would your first move be to secure, like... Where? Literally, we're here. Yeah. Us three is sitting here right now, the comet lands. Yeah. Yeah? Power goes out. Oh, well, if comet lands, we're already fucked. <laughs> uh, it lands in Alaska. It yeah. The thing I'm doing is driving world. to Clayton, going to the gun shop, procure me some... Uh, good, uh, good day there, sir. May I steal some guns from you? That's the end of the world is coming. My, Thank you, my lord. <laughs> my gun lock is only about a K from here. And then I'd recruit... <laughs> literally just go over there. And then I'd recruit weak-minded people, drive down to Woolies, set them up on top of the building, and basically claim Woolies for myself. Yeah, but how long is it going to take for you to go through that? A year? It's all canned food. <laughs> John's opening the bags of dog food, not for human consumption. <laughs> Gives that to his weak-minded. <laughs> right, you get one of these. You get one of these if you're good. Larry, Larry, what are you doing? <laughs> He's got the schmackers. Let in me his put pocket, the ball down first. Just throwing him out to all of you know. No, seriously, if you had to become self-sustainable yeah. from ground zero up, what would the first thing be? Procuring land. 
I think procuring. Uh, I'm picturing Fallout Four right now. The yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah. with you want you want shelter. Yeah, at, at the absolute minimum, the first thing I think you get is shelter. Yeah, definitely before even food, because you can go out and look for food. If you don't have shelter, you're food fine. as well. Even if say if you make yourself a garden, the food's not available straight away. Yeah, I know, that's and you what can I'm you can live it's weeks like, without food, so it's not like you know, water and shelter weeks without food. <laughs> <laughs> I need a donut. <laughs> What? <laughs> He's got like a Krispy Kremes box <laughs> guarding it with his life. It's mine. <laughs> Sleeps with it like as a pillow. <laughs> you know how like um, in Pompeii, like they're all frozen in time? Yeah. It's like a thousand years from now and they find the body hovering over something. Oh, we have to be careful. We don't want to disturb whatever it is he was protecting. Might have been his child or whatever. <laughs> Roll him over and it's just a box of Krispy Kremes. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 like in full patio. <laughs> He's like anguish. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but seriously. Okay, you secure shelter. Mm. Where would you go? Well, I think like John said, a, a supermarket is probably cut, like in short term a good bet, but it's very vulnerable. Of course. It's yeah. too big for you to guard on your yeah, own. Yeah, exactly. For one. Yeah, and there's too many entrances, too much glass. It's, I think it's too hard to... There's no running fresh water. There's no natural streams next to us on a supermarket. Yeah, you'd need to go... Think about it. Further supermarkets out. are built in the middle of suburbias. Mm. They're not built next to river streams. Yeah. yeah. And there's no natural resources like grass or... You know where you could probably go? Go out into the... Not like to the country country, like where there is wild animal and stuff like that, streams, stuff like that. Because even say if you went out to like say an hour from here down to like the peninsula or something like that, you're not going to be getting like no. There's no wild game in the peninsula. No, probably rabbits, foxes, rabbits at best. Go where there's kangaroos. Mm. What? So going up towards Whittlesea? Yeah. You reckon? Probably further out a little bit. Go to Ayers Rock. Nice high terrain to defend. We're in Melbourne. How are we going to get to Ayers Rock? You got a car? Fill up and drive down. See, this is the problem, though. Like, you go to a petrol station. <laughs> this is where the logistics comes in. And there's in probably it. people already there defending the fuel, mm. you know, because fuel is going to be extremely precious. Well, the Bowsers wouldn't point. work because there's no power. Well, that's true. Well, then this is when you need that really good scabbard. <laughs> yeah. Yours always comes back down to a crusade. <laughs> Every time. We get a bus. <laughs> You're going to look at it this way. We armor the bus. <laughs> All right, hang on. Here comes the logic part. This is where the... the, the, the do you go about are. it on your own, or do you go about trying to build a little sustainable community? I so, think you build... So now we're at Fallout 4. Because look at what happened to the chop in last year. What chop? The chop. That was that little community they tried to build that, I think it was in DC, during all the riots. And like yeah, but the- they're... They're all special, like Americans are special. Yeah, but it's not like you're going to have an interview like, all right, well, what, do you, what do you think about, you know, this and that? Is you're going to just have to kind yeah, of... Yeah, but you, where's, where's, like, for example, when I say community, I'm talking about, all right, you and your family, you and your family, me and my family, let's build a community with people we trust. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go out there and be like, oh, come here, you know. Where does it end? It ends there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else can get fucked. Who are you? I'm your second cousin. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen you before, mate. What do you mean? I sent a Christmas card to you last year. <laughs> Did you used to have a beard? Yeah. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Our kids play together. I don't like your snot-nosed punks <laughs> sitting on my grass. Get out. <laughs> Keep your kid here, though. We might need it. We might get hungry <laughs> we later. Need- yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Please, something tender. <laughs> Hang on. Wait a second. If we only had, if we only kept it within our communities, mm. as in, like, let's say, our three respective families, mm. most of it's made up of pensioners. Yeah, like forty-five percent of it's pensioners. The other twenty-five percent are like advanced ages with ailments. That's including me. Make no mistake. If someone, <laughs> just- if there's a weak link, you only have to outrun them. They will be eaten. Yeah. I, I will survive. But I picture me getting woken up in the middle of the night. Then we need you to climb. The, the, the tower outside to repair the antenna. Why me? You're the fittest and the youngest. Not me. I'm, I'm 40, broken down. <laughs> See, I, I think of it a different way. You're sleeping and you hear, you hear a little noise in the background, like smacking, and you wake up and you see John nibbling on your finger. <laughs> See? Why is that the first thing you think of? It's been day what one. What are you doing? Day one. Day 
won. John one day. <laughs> day one. one John standing on a soapbox. Right, people. We need cordial communication. I kill you. I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> By afternoon, yeah. Smoko. By afternoon, Smoko, he's huddled you, me, and one other person into a tent. Listen, there's enough food to go around. We're going to have to start <laughs> sacrificing people for the good. It's been two hours. And then, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Then I leave. Tim can't be trusted. <laughs> 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 well, do you have like an emergency bag or something? <laughs> do you have something like that? He just laughs. Some people do. I some people have like an emergency bag in case something happens. Yeah. We, I people- mean, we don't have floods here. We don't have it mm. here per se. But say like Queensland, you got out in the country, people, you know, bushfires, flooding. What are they called? The, um, there's a word. There's a they call it go bags, I think they call them. Or- something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're just supposed to have like a week's <clears throat> worth of canned food and water. I actually and that's don't. It. But I, I think it's a good idea. I just don't yeah. know. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll just forget about it because nothing will ever happen. You know what I picture? I picture him getting his emergency bag out and the throwing out half the crap because he doesn't feel like eating it. What's his lentils? Nah. Broad beans? Nah. Just throwing all the shit out. Me go rank? Nah. <laughs> Ooh, pizza shapes. <laughs> just starts eating this box. Everything's been thrown out overboard. Like, the fuck? <laughs> You know those canned cheeseburgers? <laughs> He's just got a bag full of canned cheeseburgers. Is there something called canned cheeseburgers? <laughs> yeah, yeah canned cheeseburgers. Yeah. Bring it up. I've never seen it. In America, they're, they're quite popular. There's That's videos of people like eating them. The, like a ham but They're cheeseburger. preserved in the bun and everything in the can. <laughs> nah, man. Are you serious? That is a Fallout 4 Legit. thing. Legit. That is Fallout 4. Like, 100%. Who makes them? Americans. That, no, looks, the company. Dis- that looks disgusting. Uh, oh. Like it actually looks. Yeah, disgusting. that's that's the one I've seen a lot of. That that sort of look. that one. No, no, no. The one you had up. Oh wait, that's actually making me gag. That was pretty accurate to what the one a lot of the ones that I've one? seen online. Yeah, yeah. What if I order them on Amazon? And surprisingly, and we eat them next time. You know, you would think disgusting straight away, but surprisingly, most people who tried it were like, "This actually isn't bad." Should we get it's them? Made in Germany. Should we get some? Huh? We'll get some, and next time we do it, we'll eat it. I can't even eat a cheeseburger from Macca's. You want me That's to have right. a canned cheeseburger from yeah. America? It's gluten-free. Gluten-free? Most definitely is not. How do you know? What Maybe the they f- have gluten-free alternatives. I don't think so. I don't think you have the luxury. Okay, that's really strange. What? That. What is it? That's a car with a wheelchair and someone in the wheelchair strapped to the back of the car. That's hilarious. You've got to get around. That's like a... Chevy Chase family Might as well just tie the thing. rope on the, onto it and just drive it with them in the back. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, canned cheeseburgers. Yeah. Well, that's German. Trekking Marzentine. Mars, Mars, how do you pronounce that? Marzentine. Marzentine? You know what's interesting? It's, it's in Germany and the hamburger was made in Hamburg. Why wouldn't they call it hamburger and they called it cheeseburger? Because there's cheese in it. Why was a burger made in Hamburg? I thought hamburgers have cheese too. No, why, a hamburger why, just has... They, America why, just why did you assume, coined a cheeseburger. Why did you assume that it was made in Hamburg? The hamburger? No, that one. The no, 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 no. I'm saying the hamburger was made in Hamburg. Yeah. Right? But funny enough, they're calling it a cheeseburger, which is the American version, and... Oh, it's, it's made still in a Germany. German product. Maybe yeah. it's just marketing, and yeah. they sell it to, to the US as a cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no way it does not look like that. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way this burger comes out of that can looking that plump and fresh. No, no, no. no it doesn't chance. have lettuce. Well, look at the picture next to it. It does kind of look plump. Man, dude, that can looks tiny compared to the burger. You can pull up a short video and just literally skip. It just looks like a McFeast. Okay, can hamb- cheeseburger, hamburger, or whatever. Yeah, in ham- a can. Yeah. This Just is watch the 10 minute review. <laughs> Hang on. I need a short one with 11 minutes. Net it. Eight minutes. No, no, but you can skip. Just skip to where they open it. Yeah. Here, cheeseburger in a can. Here we go. What's this? What's up, guys? For today's oh, video. God. Oh, Russian. <laughs> of course it's Russian. Cheeseburger in a can. I have done cheeseburger this before, in the can. but this one is a little bit different. Oh, Let's man. see what it's all about. Also, it comes with one of these cheeseburger like fast food. Baskets or whatever, little paper thing, and there is a can inside of it, and it actual canned burger with bread, burger. onions, cheese, two cheeses, and ketchup. Can you believe it? 
I wonder if it's going to look like at least like that picture. Probably not at all. But this is pretty hilarious. Probably main difference with this cheeseburger versus the other one is a hamburger. So it's a lot smaller. Also, look at the date over here. It's good till 09 or 07, 2029. That's not another up. John, stuck years. up. John told me when it was made in, but yeah, at least 10 years stays good. So this is like ten a survival. Years the funny the thing thing is they so actually let's have the, it up and see what it's the all little about. Pull, pull pin. Imagine if you had just oh, like a sardine can. Imagine if you okay, got like guys, a ton there of goes them. nothing. And you're like, I'm prepared for Whoa, life. Oh, what's no, happening? No, uh, no like, can open up. Yeah, yeah, you pull the ring off. No. It's like piece in the Simpsons. Yeah. You can pull There's the ring off your can of it. Fine, I will. Oh no! <laughs> How do we take You'd it be out? like oh, a drug nice. lord at that point. The other yeah. one, open you up know, a little canteen. Paper, now that I remember. They got Look. the silicates. That's a good. Extra moisture. So oh. hopefully the bird is not too soggy. Yeah, okay, that we'll looks rank. Out. That's definitely pretty thick cheeseburger. It'd be cold as and well. Everything just. Yeah, it'd be room temperature. Yeah, it'd be room, room temperature. There's the cheese. I see. There's black cheese over here. That's disgusting. Probably cheddar cheese. Can I? Really, oh my. Oh man. Can I really separate it? kind of melted together there you go oh look there's onions and either ketchup yep it's ketchup and onions but instead of ketchup there's this little pieces of tomato seems like you cannot tell me that and looks appealing in any way inside here but so look at this that looks like uh, prison gruel meat. man this is that crazy. looks like rat burgers out of demolition okay. man okay well let's give it a bite and see how it tastes you just chipped a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks really inspired, man. That literally looks like it's a raw burger. You can't even. Okay. Is he gonna I just bit in an onion. I can still taste the onion. It's pretty much the only thing I can taste. That's Everything else is tastes like rubber. Um, it's almost have no taste. I've in seen it. enough. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen enough, man. I mean, survival, right? No, but back to my actual point. You said you'd want to secure a supermarket, yeah, for immediate. Uh, well, he's he's. He oh, what would you secure then? As long as I can get some weak-minded people. Okay, but eventually they're going to realize that you're full of shit. Nah. How? They're weak-minded. They're weak-minded. How would you screen weak-minded people in times of apocalypse? Kiss my hand. I'd ask. No! Get out! <laughs> I'd ask them what their pronouns are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, really? And so we begin the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it only took 40 <laughs> minutes. To start it from here. Yeah. You set it up perfectly. What do you want? <laughs> Anyone that's listening can basically just switch off now or tune in now. Like it's, it's, <laughs> okay. It's the mark of what, you ident- what do you identify as? They, them? Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Why? Okay, whatever. That was perfect. <laughs> it was a perfect setup. What do you want? Okay. Come to gold. <laughs> My point... <laughs> My point, my point was... Here come the angry letters. <laughs> just calm down. Actually, dude, can you give me water, please? I'm Send them to 555. 555. No, the whole point of what I'm saying is, sure, you can secure like a supermarket, yeah? And build the... Uh, Thanks, man. Build the... Uh, what's the name of the Fallout 4, the first one? The Commonwealth? The um, Minutemen. Yeah. Yeah. Surely, okay, you can build a settlement, but you still need fresh water. You still need... Like, you won't get veggies out of a supermarket for longer than two days. Yeah. That's yeah. my point. Yeah, I know. So then where would you set up? Like you said, I think you need a stream where it has a food source, you get water source, and that's the most critical part. But then, again, shelter is so important. But that's what I'm saying. Like You need a tent or something. Even, even building a basic irrigation system. Do you know how to do it? Mm, basic, I can get away with it. You yeah. can't do. You can't Google anything. No, there's no YouTube. I can do a basic one, a very, very basic. And it might. Could fail. you? Same thing, basic. Nothing, like I've seen enough to... of them to know how it works. Mm. How does it work? Well, you just need in to... fifty words or less. Well, basically, it's self-sustaining. So what you can do is build. Well, this is what I would do because you wouldn't have access to like pipes to actually give them 
yeah. room to chain off each other. So you'd have to build a hole and find some kind of tarp or plastic that you would probably have with you, you know, plastics everywhere, yep. and then get that to create the condensation from the hole. So maybe put some leaves in the bottom of there, create the condensation, then that's the only other water source that you would have to keep like sustain. If you couldn't find the stream, for example, if you had a stream, then... I mean, really, you don't even need, like, some... You don't really need anything else. You just but need to find... You, if you dig deep enough, eventually you find water anyway. That's how Supposedly. We, that's how you get wells. Yeah. Yeah. But, you, again, like, how do, what tools do you have? And Yeah, I know. That's how my point. Get out of the who's going <laughs> to dig the well? Don't, don't... No. They. They will. <laughs> they. <laughs> they will. <laughs> <laughs> and they's friend. Oh, J- John, get us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts chucking the dirt back in. <laughs> All right, boys, we're done here. <laughs> we'll finish up with this one. Just fill it in. <laughs> well, you know what you're going to get. What he is a surprise. Coats of... Coats his t-shirt in fuel, <laughs> lights it on fire, chucks it in the hole. We're eating good tonight, boys. <laughs> uh. You're both animals. I smell man flesh. <laughs> Did you watch it recently? No. I, I've been wanting to, though, really what, bad. Lord, man flesh? Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Man, man flesh. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's like, a scene. No, but what is the scene? They're running. The orcs are running away. They've stolen the, the, the hobbits, and uh, the th- three of the heroes are tracking them down, but they get too close. Yeah. And the orcs, they stop, and like, oh, we can smell man flesh. And they're like kilometers away from them. Sounds riveting. Yeah. Real, uh, Good scene. Real <laughs> Academy Award sort of winning shit. It is. It Brilliant. Is. Yeah. Fuck off. I, I still did. The, I will go to my grave screaming that that is the worst I'm movie itching ever made. To well, then watch. you're a fool. Yeah, you are a fool. <laughs> I'm itching to watch. I've got to be honest. Yeah. I'm itching to watch. Why? It's just so good. Mm. Anyway, back to the the forest goblins. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there was ever any worth any worldwide collapse, you know, power stations get shut down, mm. comet hits the you know whatever. I think humanity would be done. Like yeah. that, that'd be it. Yeah. There'd be no no resurgence. Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, there's people out there that are self sustainable. I there are. There's, 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 enough, there's enough out there to make documentaries on Netflix. That's it. No. Nah. Not to sustain the entire we're, we're talking... Yeah, well, that, well, he might have a point. Maybe. No, Maybe. no. Because... Because, because a lot of people will have... die in the process, too. Of course. As in, like, go out to the wilderness, wild animals are going to start attacking and eating yeah, people. Yeah. No, no. Mm. I'm not talking about, like... Okay. Here's, even if you found... All right, let's say you've got the suburb of Clayton, right? Which is a big suburb. Yeah. How many self-sustainable people do you reckon there are there that could literally go all, uh, you know, Steve Irwin, Malcolm Fraser specs and uh, Douglas, not, sorry? Not a lot of people, but I think I think some people will resort to trying because it's survival. You mm. Like, survival mode will have to kick in for most people. Yeah, it does. And look, humans, humans are, like, we persevere. I get that. That's how we got to where we are. But I think... In times of those sort of circumstances, you'd have a few of the natural born leaders mm. that would weed out the uh, the riffraff and say, "Okay, you guys do this, you guys do that." John starts his Pax Romana, mm-hmm. and then um, <laughs> just nods along. He just sees himself. Dude, everyone's foraging for scraps. John comes out with like a red velour cape <laughs> and a crown. I've got Rome on the can. <laughs> yeah, I've got him, you know, the little can on the string. I've got Rome on the line. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> <laughs> the packs from <were> man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do you know what he comes across? The the uh, God spoke to me leader. <laughs> he comes out. God has spoken to me. <laughs> he has said for you all to give me your food and supplies, and I shall distribute them equally. He's got his bank. <laughs> at the back He's like food. one for you, one for you, two for you, one two for you. <laughs> Anyway, I shall impregnate all the women <laughs> and spread my seed. All the women. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Me lord, me daughter's only 16 to the chambers. <laughs> Listen. Why are they pretty? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no. The point is, is that you'll have your leaders, right, that 
become obviously the heads of the new state. They they separate everyone into their abilities and capabilities. But then human instinct will kick in of mis- distrust, <laughs> jealousy, envy, all that sort of crap. Someone will kill off the one guy that knows how to create fusion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. He's too smart. <laughs> you know, I'm serious. He's too smart. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> T- tyrannical. Back to back to John. <laughs> tyrannical leader. He's like filtering people out. What did you do? I was an engineer. But what? Uh, Tesla? Kill him. <laughs> what do you do? I'm an influencer. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kill both him. ends. Yeah, it ends up being like the whole pot. <laughs> what about you? I'm a baker. Get get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need you doing some sound. <laughs> My right <out> hand <laughs> man. Literally get gets, the baking. <laughs> it's a palace chamber. Like I'm going to put an order in for a couple of glazed donuts. <laughs> well, that's you've seen that uh, that anime, the Doctor Stone one. No, Have you watched I, that? I, I, I followed. That's it, a really interesting one. Yeah. yeah, but look, very alchemy, right? Yeah, he's basically like Earth goes into something happens where cataclysm, like everyone turns to stone in the world. Oh, and he turns to stone as well, the main character. But it's like two thousand years later. Yeah, and he somehow comes back to life, and he comes along a tribe that's still it's like the only tribe that he he's come across for days, and they pretty much sustain themselves, but they've become hunter gatherers yeah. again. And he he's a scientist in, in his modern era. And he, just a school student who knows a bit of science, and so he's figuring out how to get the, like, what base materials to create what yeah. out of, you know, just basic things that we take for Learning granted the, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So MacGyver's everything, basically. No, nah, well, through science. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but he makes, like, you know, fresh water, and he, he like, makes uh, antibiotics, pretty much. Oh, yeah, from plants. Going, yeah, just mm. from plants and all that stuff. Okay, you realise I'm describing Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge, right? I didn't hear you say that, sorry. No. Everything I just mentioned oh, okay. about the survival thing yeah. and killing off the educated, mm. that's what Pol Pot did in, in Cambodia. That's what a lot of yeah. people end up they doing. They killed off anyone that was a dignitary, a government yeah, worker, yeah. That's a, the a first teacher. Step. Yeah, eliminate any form of education, educated people. So there's yeah. no um, backlash. Mm. Yeah? But that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't believe if there's ever a wipeout and the harmony goes... Not the harmony, the sustainability goes that we have now, that we the luxuries that we, we have. If it goes back to bare basics, the oh, people the, will the, die out eventually. The luxury will be gone for for forever if for a long time, if not forever, the luxuries that we have now, if something like that was to happen. Because to get back to that knowledge, you would lose it for generations. Definitely. Because yeah, that wouldn't be a priority in life. Survivability would be the absolute priority. For who knows, countless generations. Well, how long did it take to get to like where we are now? As in, like, when did it? When did technology take that turn into like the industrial revolution and stuff? Like when the did industrial they, revolution like, was. When did, when did we leave serfdom in the Middle Ages and get to like? It was the Renaissance. Is that where it was? Pretty much. That's when it went from feudal nobility serfdom, yeah. yeah, to basically. It was still there in the Renaissance, but towards the end of probably 16th century, that's when they started becoming more, like, then you had more changes in, like, uh, what's, I don't, I don't know the word, like, the specific, like, uh, not human rights, stuff like that, but it was like... Social structure. Social structures were changing. Monarchy wasn't, it was... Monarchy was around for a very long time still after that, but it was just the way things were gone about. I would say almost roads. Like when people started figuring out roads or everything, industrial really... I mean, roads have been around forever. Roads have been around forever. I mean, like developed roads, not... Well, then as early as back as... As as not... No, just roads. Okay, hang on. I'll look Connecting roads. As far back as probably then if you want developed proper roads, then you just go as far back as Rome. Well, I was going to say, all yeah. roads lead to Rome. Mm. Yeah. The first road to be built in Victoria by European settlers was on Philip Island two centuries ago. Okay. When was the first road invented? The Romans were not the first to invent roads. Roads in Mesopotamia, now known as Iraq, had been discovered that date back to around 4000 BC. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. But like maintained proper yeah, roads. Yeah, I'm talking road about to where it was a proper road, road, not just like a, yeah. uh, like, like know, a lane a pathway like a, or yeah, something. Yeah, that's been that's flattened. Middle, yeah, yeah. it's a proper road. Yeah. 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 It says here... Um, Tell you transport mm, armies and supplies exactly. and logistics yeah. and everything. There were Indians, ancient Indian May- Maria, mm. Maurya Empire built a highway along an ancient route called 
Uttarapatha in the 3rd century BCE, extending it to the mouth of the Ganges to the northwestern frontier of the empire. It's funny, I read this book once, and it was um, called The Prince of Thorns, I think it was. It was a trilogy, and it was just a fantasy book. And you don't realise until three quarters through this book, because you assume the way he's de- they're describing everything in this book, it's a feudal world. And it's only three quarters towards the end of the book, you realise it's actually mm. in the future after mankind has gone through a cataclysm. Right. And people have resorted back to medieval feudalism. Yeah. And he's inside what he thinks is like a castle or a fort. And in fact, it's just like a science lab. Because mm-hmm. he, like, he hears like this talking to him, he, he assumes it's magic or whatever. Yeah. Like some, you know, spirit. And it's just like a, you know, like an AI that's talking to him. And it's just like, you know, how many generations would pass before what we take now as normal, people could think, oh, well, what is that? I've never seen yeah. that before. Okay, so here. Industrializ- industrialization ushered much of the world into the modern era, revamping patterns of human settlement, labor, and family life. Uh Industrial Revolution deserves a name which, with, with which historians have tagged it. It brought about thorough and lasting transformations, not just in business and economics, but in the basic structures of society. Before industrialization, when the most significant economic activities in most, in Europe, most European countries were small-scale farming, artisan handcrafts, social structures, social structures remained essentially as they have been during the Middle Ages. The advent of industrial development revamped patterns of human settlement, labor, and family life, and then the changes set in motion by industrialization ushered Europe, United States, and much of the world into the modern era. Mm. It's when things started getting built by machines. Yeah. Which was which date? 17th century, I think. Yeah, I would think so. I was actually guessing early 18, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, many left their agrarian lives behind and headed for towns and cities to find employment. Yeah. Mm. So, hang on. During the 8th, 18th century, population of Britain and other European countries began rising significantly. Among the first signs of economic transformation was an increase in agricultural productivity, making it possible to feed this rising population. A combination of these factors led to profound changes in how rural people lived. Gradually, large-scale mechanised agriculture to serve the market began to overtake the kinds of subsistence farming most peasants had practised for generations. And that's the thing, like the farming, because like how it is now, but you can't play down the importance of it as well. Like you look at, you know, when was it, in the 40s? And they had that famine... And how many Ukrainians died because they killed off all the farmers? Mm. So like seven, eight million of them. Why did they kill the farmers? Because pretty much the way it was described is when pretty much with the concept in Soviet Russia, pretty much it was like these farmers know how to do something and they're hoarding like the food for themselves. So they killed them. So they killed them. They didn't kill them. I think they sent them to Siberian... Like to Siberia, yeah, gulags and stuff like that. Or they killed them off. And then, like, within a generation or two, there was nobody that knew how to farm throughout all of, like, the Soviet Union. And basically, seven or eight million, yeah, Ukrainians died out of starvation because they didn't know how to farm. See, it's funny you say that because, like, I always thought with the amount of people that are wanting to be influencers and create bullshit content, that Mm. literally is nothing, just content, Mm. most people are losing the knowledge of trade or, yeah. you know, and so that is almost, they're doing it to themselves almost, right? Because most people now, like if you look out and they're all, all, all these jobs are like, we're hiring, hiring, hiring. It's actually a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of places that are always hiring. Oh, yeah, they're sure. short of workers, period, right now. Yeah. A, yeah. because people don't want to work and two, because of the pandemic, yeah. anyone who wanted to work well, was sent home. I still feel like, like they're using that as an excuse to this day that, you know, like the pandemic caused the, the I think people are just getting really fucking lazy. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, 100%. And, and if you ask anyone, they're like, well, I'd rather create content. Or I'd rather start an Instagram channel or I'd rather start a Twitch channel. You're like, what's your opinion on working from home? Okay. I've been working since I was like 13 years old. Yeah. Right? I've only ever been able to work from home doing a job that someone paid me to do. Not as in like... Not as in audio, not as in the shit that I do, you know, for myself. Mm. But working a salary job, I've only ever been able to do it the last 12 months. Yeah. For you, it's good, yeah? You like it? I like it because I can balance the rest of my life out. Because I've got so many other things to worry about. Mm-hmm. You know what? I, my phone can ring from my business, one of my businesses and I can answer it. And it doesn't matter. But then again, look, you know what? Okay, look at it this way, yeah? I spoke to a guy that I used to work with at the, the job I had before I, where I am now. 
Yep. And he had left about a month after I'd left, and now he's gone back to the same company, like a year later. Mm. I'm like, what the hell happened? Because I got a call from general management, said, let's have a chat, discussed a few things, told them what my concerns were, why I initially left, la, 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 la. And they found a, a compromise, and he went back. And I asked him, so what's it like? He goes, man, totally different. I go, what do you mean? He goes, oh, we don't work past 4.30 anymore, ever. Like, there's not... The attitude of management is there's nothing that can't be sorted out tomorrow. You know, like Friday, four o'clock, man, Friday, six o'clock would still be there. Now, he said when he was still sort of trying to touch base with management, he mm. was in the area at around four on a Friday mm. and went past the office and was shut. Mm. So he's called up the dude. He's like, where are you? He goes, nearly home. Like, What's up? Well, I was near the office. We'll go for a bit. He goes, nah, man, Friday, we've shut by three thirty, four o'clock. We're gone. Yeah. This isn't the old days. And- what I found out was the director is gone. There was a WOG director that used to sit, like, as he was the director of the, the Melbourne thing. He's gone, man. They, like, he left. I don't know what the story is, but he's left. Do you know what I mean? Change of cultures changed all that. Yeah. So people are, like, they're getting more done, and the, that pressure of staying at the office isn't there anymore. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. I can work from home, but I can see why it's not productive sometimes. Because I'll get lost in my phone, I'll get lost doing other shit, and then it's like, shit, I've done nothing. But then at the same time, you can binge work for three hours at home and get more done than you would yeah. going into an office. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think I don't write anything off completely. Wait. <laughs> Before you go on. So, yeah. so You know what? You do that all the time. So you're con- you do that all the well, time. Well, because I want to get. He pauses to make a point. We make time for him to make a point, and then just as he says a word, you're like, "Wait, <laughs> no!" Because I know, I know that he's, I know he's heading into his his zone, and then that's it after that. So, <laughs> so your conclusion is that there's a balance. My conclusion is is that okay. Did you see those reports about those um, CEOs and bosses basically saying that they want people back in their yeah. offices? Yeah. Do yeah. you know why that is? Because they're paying, they're paying rent for the buildings. For, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what that's what the people that are staying home are saying. Mm. The, and the smart people, they, they leased all the buildings out as soon as COVID hit. They ended yeah. the leases lapse and just moved out. Yeah, and it is a form of cost cutting. Imagine not having to pay for rent. A, a, yeah, a sky and tower in the, the CBD. Yeah, yeah. utilities, cleaning, cleaning, utilities, uh, fruit, computers, all that shit. Yeah, fruit. <laughs> Elegant, yeah. Fruit if, baskets. If, fruit if bas- Andy was a CEO, he'd have fruit baskets every morning to everyone's desks. With yeah, heirloom would. tomatoes and carrots <laughs> and <laughs> mushrooms. Fucked up mushrooms that explode on contact. <laughs> send this to send this to send this to Jeff, I don't like you. <laughs> oh I've got my eye. <laughs> Start growing a mushroom. <laughs> One on each eyelash. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Andrew. We have to send Jeff back to emergency. There's been an incident. Just ruffles his newspaper. Like oh, yeah. He's still reading the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Must have liked the, that basket I sent. <laughs> Give me a slice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Now, they, they said... <laughs> okay, so cost cutting, right? But the problem is, is that a lot of these upper management types, yeah, and CEOs, without people there that they have to physically monitor... Yeah. They can't justify their role anymore. Mm. You know what I mean? Manage, upper management starts to dwindle. Exactly. Mm. Because it's like, we had you here babysitting these people yeah. and try to- And they become it, autonomous now. But now, doesn't upper management do more than just babysit? Don't no. they come up with ideas and crap no. like that? Not really. No. That's no. marketing. No. No. Yeah. No. Each department has a role to play. Okay. CEO will take on most of the responsibility of if there's failures, whose ideas get- pushed forward, but marketing ultimately come up with all those ideas, then the workers will implement all that stuff. But CEOs don't do shit all. The fabric and makeup of, of upper and middle management is totally, like, ridiculous, man. Yeah. Mm. There are literally people that you could just write off, say, your job is no longer yeah. needed, required. Yeah. Well, they're the first ones to go a lot of the Well, time that's what right. I mean. Yeah. That's yeah. why I understand, yeah. and I understand it'd be better now because I've worked in corporate for, and behind a desk for a couple of years now. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I've only just seen it properly, but I can understand why jobs become redundant. Like, when I started, I took over, I mean, I was hired for, like, logistics, yeah? As in, because that's my field of expertise. And they said to me, you may branch off into other areas. I quickly took over another person's role. Mm. They had someone there working, like, 12 to 15 hours a week. Gone. Yeah. And now they had someone doing the role 38 hours a week. Yeah. I quickly absolved all these responsibilities. You know, those soundboards fell again. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. Too hot. 
No, no, no. The, the all, initial installation was no I, good. When I came here after I'd put them up, they'd lasted like 48 hours to 72 hours or something. Then I came back again and they'd fallen. The initial installation Why was no disca- good? We're, we're the, I'm just saying. I noticed it. It's in your direction. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. I, th- let, let me, let, 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 I still haven't finished. I, no, you have. Okay. I think. <laughs> I haven't finished. That certain jobs can work from home and certain jobs can't, right? It, there, okay. are, there is a split between people who can do it and obviously retail workers who can't do it. I hear. Yeah, I get that. The retail workers okay, can't. Retail the, workers can't. Were they certain? Yeah. Cafe. Restaurants, no, you can't I'll, I'll drain your coffee into you. <laughs> it's coming through now. No, that's reliant on pers- person to person. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's jobs that online or salesy, and I can or s- yeah, IT. I, c- I can see where people who have to go in, yeah, then get angry and say, "Well, if I got to go in, you should be going in." No, yeah. because that's I, their role. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I can see people who s- well, they're who idiots. Think that way, but, <laughs> but the the point is that, like, for example, for me, I've been. Like, I've always worked face-to-face, mm. my whole life face-to-face, and the last year working from home has been absolutely incredible. Mm. I mean, it's work-life balance. In your underwear, do, meeting your neighbours. Right? It's crazy. Then talking to my partner, who does has always gone into the office as well, works a corporate job, and she's been working from home, you know, during that COVID time and then on and off since, and she's like, I'm so much more productive at home. It's insane. The mm. amount of people that just walk around the office, chat for two hours, come and bother you when you're in the important, doing important shit. She's like, it's so uh, beneficial to actually work from home. I know they say, you know, to come in, but she's like, I, why should I stay later in the office? The travel time, the costs involved. Oh, there's expectations of going to a cafe and getting a drink or a sandwich with other people. There's like, there's so much wrong with, and, and there's no, there's no benefits. That's the thing. She's literally said there's nothing. But that's what I'm saying. The transit time alone, the average person in Melbourne sometimes travels, you know, an hour to mm, get to work, yeah. an hour to get back. That's two hours out of their day. You could cut that out, have them sleep that extra hour, sort themselves out, and then be ready to work at 9 a.m. Yeah. From the minute and ready. Yeah. And th- and that's the thing. People say to me, people, I've heard the argument of, oh, well, you know, how can you monitor what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Well, number one, you can monitor what they're doing. Yeah. Just get on a Teams thing, have them check in as you always do. Yeah. And just have, watch their freaking monitor. Number two, if you are if you feel the need to stand over someone you've hired, if you feel the need to stand over their shoulders and say, well, what are you doing now? It's like, you've hired the wrong person. Yeah, you can't trust them. Yeah. If you can't trust yeah. them to work, yeah. then don't hire them. Yeah. I, and, and, and their quality, like their outcome of quality of work will prove to you whether they do their job or not. Exactly. If they spend an hour on lunch and they're supposed to have half an hour, but they get all their shit done and they're working from home, like, great, take your hour. If they're still doing their work, my, my mate's in Sydney, he's an accountant, and they're trialing, the his, his workplace is trialing that four-day work week, and he's like, it's, it's been the greatest change. He goes, I work 10, 10 to 11 hours a day, like, you have to. Yeah, you work. As your eight-hour day, it's now 10 to 12, but he's like, I, I get, you know, I get three days off, and the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he's like, it's amazing. It's, it's the best thing ever. He, he much prefers that way. I suppose, and he works from home. I suppose that this thing is allowed as long as the companies allow it, yeah? If they turn around and say, no, everybody's got to go back to the office. You have to go back, yeah. You have to go back, or do you think there'd be mass resignations? Mass resignations? You reckon? A bit of both. I think COVID, both. COVID has created that. It forced people to like look at their s- situations a lot more. Yeah, I get that. But well, then look if at you government. want to... Yeah. Look at government. Government did that. Mm-hmm. They Two years, people were working from home. Everyone in government was working from home. And then suddenly they said, come back to the office. Mm. And they had a big ass meeting about it. And people were like, we don't want to go back. They started boycotting, going in. Um, and then in the end, they had to come up with, okay, well, you can work two or three days in the office and two or three days from home yeah. and then alternate that cycle. Yeah. And we'll, you know, every single person had to be catered, like tailored to that person. And that's what I mean. Like, I, I, I'd look at it like from a company's perspective. And I think then that would be when basically – Employees, you know, you always, you know, at the end of the day, people can. You want to make them happy. You do, but but at the end of the day, if they're going to cut you, they're going to cut you. Yeah, and you are a number. But but at the end of the day, if you're going to lose too many by cutting too many, and they're good employees, you would rather keep them than cut them. Yeah, I don't because know. good employees are hard to find. What do you gain? What do you gain by having people in your office? I don't know. I'm just no, asking. No, 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 like, no, no, no. It's it's a legitimate question. What are the benefits of having? 
people in the office. They Syner- say synergy. They. <laughs> I think that's bullshit. They say hang on, create man. environment. Hang on, hang on, because I work with a team that's predominantly overseas, yeah. and I I have synergy with my. Mm. Imagine if you were there. Yeah, same with you. Yeah, I work on a global team. Exactly. They're in Europe, US, Australia, Asia. Well, how everywhere. productive was that meeting when uh, Mr. So and So was uh, dragging people? <laughs> dragging people? Yeah. yeah, remember? You said, you, uh, yeah, Mr. So and So was dragging people on the street because he was bored. Huh? You don't remember? It was on a voice a video call or something? Are you serious? You're on a voice call with Mr. Man, and he was like, I'm bored, I'm going out to drag people on the street. Well, he's not part of my team. <laughs> well, it was a video call that included your team, didn't it? Yeah. Well, was it a productive meeting? That was a productive <laughs> meeting. We got we got information that Mr. So and So is very interested mm. to get things going. That we didn't know that mm. until that mm. until that boredom of call. Now we know that he may be you know a part of the team in next year. Nevertheless, all right, that was a very we're, important. We're, call. we're veering off. Okay, so you say it creates synergy to be in a workplace. Don't look at me. He's saying. I think it's <laughs> bullshit. No, I, I think it's crap as well. But I, I, <laughs> in, from my perspective, I think a company will only allow something to go so far before they they tire of it. They want control. Until it, yeah, they want control, That's and until it costs them too much to keep, to, they, they're not going to give their workers control over them. Yeah. And the second it starts to get to that, and it's going to cost them too much money, they're going to put an end to it. And they will gladly take the losses. They'll lose experience for it. From workers just to then eventually get things back on track for them. Hold that thought. What are you doing? I'm trying to make this piece of shit taste somewhat decent. So why didn't you drink it from that one? What do you mean? The original. Because I wanted to drink most of that and then I'll pour a little bit because this is pretty full. Did you want to mix it? I'm doing that neck exercise again. You're fucking (laughs) insane. I need it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, having Mm. a team, a physical team in an office discussing ideas... What are you doing? It's gone warm. I want to. Can you? This is not a snack bar. Talking about snacks, can you uh, <laughs> pass me another fruit mint, thanks? Another fruit mint? You want one? No. You sure? I've had one. I'm done. Right. And maybe um, I'll have a. Is there any coffee left? <laughs> like black? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I have it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not. This is not a clubhouse. Yes, it is. Back to my point, he's the only one that brings food to eat. Well, can you give me a plate? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you bring plates? Yeah, they're yeah, in the top No, drawer. don't get them. Don't get them. It's well, just if you, you get... No, no, no. If you get something flaky or, you know, you see if you have to work back John, you're the only here. flaky thing here. Well, that's a very good Meow. No, no. Look, having a team in an office, okay? Yeah, okay, it's more hands-on. You know, it's that interpersonal sort of thing. But... You can literally replicate that with a Teams meeting. Yeah. Mm. FaceTime, I've done hundreds of meetings with FaceTime with people that I've never met before. Yeah. Breaking new ground, first introdu- introduction, first introductory meetings through FaceTime and only FaceTime. There's no difference. Yeah. What are you doing? That makes him I copy. swear to God, the editing in this is going to be. What are you talking about? I I'm just no, mixing it. I hope yeah. there's no gas in that. I can just huh? hear it. I hope there's no gas in that. Well, it's, it's coffee. If it's not carbonated, wouldn't it be carbonated? It's it's canned. I have a feeling it might be carbonated. Can you not? You're gonna. You're literally over. Like there is. A- <laughs> it sounds like your sphincter muscle relaxing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're all good boys. Are you good? <laughs> yeah, I was really concerned. Oh my. god. God. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Straight, straight to your, hmm. straight to your sphincter. Okay, I'm done. Seriously. So, I think. <laughs> uh, so oh, brilliant! John, so John just dropped his first two words of wisdom, then took a bite out of his mince pie <laughs> after taking a sip of his organic <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I hope you choke on that fucking thing. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. <laughs> oh. Talking about choking. Was it you that was saying, someone else was saying like the number one cause of death for like elderly single people is like, especially men is choking. I, I don't choke, think that was I want me. food. Mm. Oh no, we were talking about the uh, mochi. That's, was it the mochi? Yeah. They, elderly people can't have mochi because apparently they've died. Like 
it's not uncommon that they've died from it getting stuck in their oh. throat because it's so sticky. I thought I read somewhere or someone told me. I told like. <laughs> 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 that's what it was. I, 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 I guarantee that's what it was. No, nah, but specifically like men, single men at home who live on their own. Do you think it was women choking? Choking. No, they've got cats there to kind of rub the throat. Cats? Yeah. Cats. Yeah. What? You're an idiot. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. He's being a dickhead. Anyway. I was talking about on ignoring his misog- oh. Ignoring his misogynistic rants. Can you stop eating? For like, you've literally been eating since you got here. Can I get you something else? It's so hot. <laughs> Do we got some of those um, some some bars down the bottom or something? Oh, yeah. There? Do you want one? What are they? Can you stop going through my fridge? They are... He got them last time we were here. Protein bars or are they like... Um... No, OD slices. I've never had that. No, no. Down the bottom. Oh, my God. Should I come and... Should I go and come back? If you want, we're going to start talking about <laughs> things that grind our gears. You want to grind my gears. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? It's a uh, uh, chocolate on the bottom with rice puffs. No, I'm good. I love it. It's not suited to his taste. It's chocolate. It's going to melt. I don't want sticky fingers. Well, they're cold. Nah, it's all right. It's all right. 96% sugar free. Eddie, please put them away. I don't want to eat all his stuff. You're both killing me right now. My glasses. With stuff. this song. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over the table and kick you in the face. Like, actually kick you in the face with his feeler fucking slide. Like, literally. Bang! <laughs> Just throw it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Did you see that video I sent you of, like, the Christmas Day one? No. With all the, like, ethnicities? Like, I don't want more... No. <sighs> no, what was it? Well, they'll throw in the slipper on, basically, no matter what language it is, they just throw in the slipper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> standard. Yeah. But anyway. Was, but then there was the Aussie one. Like, Where were you going with the whole... Yeah, we, it was this, yeah, it was, no, nothing. I just wanted your opinion. <laughs> oh, I just want to hear your Look, thoughts. I, I on think it. it's a good thing. Okay, okay you didn't actually give us your thought on it. You just said that the companies will do whatever they want. Oh, I really don't care. He can't work from home. I that's think why he says it. the way, yeah, I, the yeah, way exactly, I kind of yeah, yeah. yeah If I have to go, he's, 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 he's the exact person that he's, <laughs> he's talking. Some people, some people. No, no. The way I kind of not that I look at it, not that I. Some people say I don't know. Some people say I don't know who they are. If I have to go in, you have to go in. 